Saturday morning, sun is out, nice blue skies. It got light actually this morning at quarter to six, which is a bit unusual. Well, not unusual, but just seems really early compared to how it has been. Gonna fill the sprayer up, do a bit of spraying. Still a bit wet for land work, but if I get it sprayed, at least then when it does dry, we can get straight on it. It's still as well, whereas the last sort of five or six days, it's been quite breezy and also raining. So, spray's there, fill up and we'll go. I'm just filling the sprayer up with water and I, I explained to Oscar what it does, so I just thought I'd tell you guys. So you put the pipe on the tank there, plug it in the back, that's a motorised valve, can you see the tap across it's open. I dial in with these arrows what I want it to fill up with water to, press the P and it starts to suck the water out. Then, with these buttons here, I can turn on the chemical induction hopper, which is basically a bowl with a suction in the bottom. So you pour the chemical into there and it sucks it into the sprayer. With these taps there, I can turn it on so it like flushes to rinse itself. Or I can turn that tap on and then it squirts water down the middle. And if you put a can on the top of that, it's just got clean water in the moment, but I'll show you. It comes up like a fountain to wash the, wash the bottles. You press that one, it'll spin round to clean inside. And then once it's full, you just switch that off. That valve there and stops it sucking. And then turn it off with that button there. It's just got water at the moment. You can see the gauge as well up there. Uh, it's a bit difficult to see through the boom. But that also tells you how much water's in it. But this one's more accurate. So we want 4,400 litres of water. This stops and starts the PTO from here. You can isolate the tank if something was to go wrong. You can purge the spray lines so that it, well they're always getting purged but you can turn it off and that basically means it's circulating water around them all the time and chemical once it's in. Uh, you can fill the clean water tank by pressing that, um, sorry you can pull out the clean water tank by pressing that button. You fill the clean water tank by one of these valves here. So that's just filling up now. This is like a toolbox, this is another toolbox. Uh, the booms obviously fall out for 36 metres which I'll show you in the field. It's driven by a John Deere engine up here behind the cab. We've got 240 or 280 horsepower John Deere engine. This is the exhaust, like a dustbin. Oh, there's the sight gauge. See it better there now. 5,600 litre stainless steel tank with an integral wash tank, so it's got another sort of 600 litres of clean water for washing on board. The engine basically just drives a hydraulic motor. Sorry, a hydraulic pump. Just trying to walk down the steps backwards. <laughs> Creates hydraulic pressure. And these lumps on the wheels, they're hydraulic motors that power the wheels forwards. So it does about 68k on the road. If it's got its tall wheels on. It does about 55, 60k on them wheels because they've not got the rolling radius of what we call the road crop wheels. Another two toolboxes on the tide, but they are racked out if you want to take chemical to the field with you. This is the water pump, so this is basically what's sucking the water out of the tank now to fill it up. And when you're spraying, it sucks the water out of that tank and pressurizes the spray lines to spray it all out. This was in fact, my very first YouTube purchase. So yeah, you guys watching, or girls, are paying the finance on this sprayer for me, so thank you. Got to the field, no satellites detected. A Roland. Despite us putting rat poison in that box, had gone down and chewed a tiny pink wire. So we just joined it back together now and it's all come back on. What a pain. You see them white canes. That was where we did the trial with the drone. We drilled it with OSR, but as you can see, it's gonna take some drying out. But yeah, can you see that there's absolutely zero OSR growing? It's completely bare. So this is now gonna be spring barley. John's on the sprayer now.
wet patch here, so we'll have to turn off. Keep your spray in the field. I've just jumped off while John finishes the field to show you, but yeah, this was drilled with OSR and it all come up in lovely little rows and then the flea beetle came and just totally demolished it and now there's nothing left and then the bit with the drone as well even started growing but they ate that so we're just knocking out these little bits of weed now grass weeds from bits of volunteer brome and wheat and then this will then have to be spring barley some bits are really wet though it's going to take a bit of drying out looking how much the, the surface has just slumped it's wet right right through though they were three or four inches down then it's still wet this was actually sumoed as well before it was drilled with osr but to so the compactions nearly right through the whole profile the whole soil structure is just completely washed and slumped we, we, we work this with the Zerion. You can hear it for miles. As the Bateman's gone around the field, it's sprayed around the outside. So it's sprayed 36 metres, so 18 metres from there to there. So if I find the tram line, he's coming down and put my phone on the floor, you'll see the Bateman go right over the top of the camera and the nozzles should have turned off, so it might look pretty cool. If I do it in the wrong... I look like I've got curly hair, don't I? If I do it in the wrong place, um, I'll have a wet phone. Looks a beast, doesn't it, coming up the field? Well, that worked, my phone's dry. If anyone's ever seen that JCB mooching round, it's a 4CX, and its job is ramming the skips down at the local tip. So it pulls, up, pulls them forwards with a hook on the front and knocks them flat with the bucket. It even has extra long legs so it can go up higher to see in the skips what they're squashing. Fancy parking that spray on the yellow lines to go to the bakery. Hopefully it's got a driver in to move it, there's a problem. Right, Oscar's got one of the bouncy eggs. He's going to see if he can bounce it over the shed. What, what are you doing? <laughs> You're supposed to hit it at the floor, not the combine. <laughs> Just throw it hard against the concrete and see how high it goes. Right, we'll try again. Just like slam it down and get the, get the angle. It's like playing snooker, but the, pretend the concrete's the cushion. There you go. Ooh. They're quite unpredictable when they land. I bet you can't do that again. <laughs> Go on, try again. It's like a rugby ball, though, isn't it? Oh, no, the hey! <laughs> do you? We seem to have a pigeon thing in the tracks. Is a little uh, loft. It was there the other day as well. Mad though, isn't it? If John and I hovered outside the bakery while I ran in to get something to eat, I reckon we could have carried on spray, but now it started spitting again. So we're just going to give it a minute because the satellite picture looks like this. So it looks like we're in the eye of it now, but it's not raining particularly heavy. So hopefully in 10 15 minutes we can go back out. Desperately need to reconcrete this bit of the yard. Oscar's just trying to get some of the slop off it the bucket and the solace. Tom Pemberton needs to finish his bucket brush doesn't he before we uh, use it. Anyway I'm gonna pull the quaddy up to the workshop and change them marker boards because it looks a bit sorry for itself with uh, one missing. It's about a week since this, this was last running let's see. On the button now, I don't know which spool this is on. 
for lifting that up. Look at that one. have that in it. Have to unlock them somehow. I'm sure you have to unlock the spool valves. It says the lock doesn't it? You unlock them on there or here. Anyone know? Someone will be screaming at the screen now. I had to ring Morgan up couldn't find it because it's up there. Now hopefully that, press that. There we go, yeah. It's rising up now. So I can pull forwards now without ripping the yard up. That's it, and then I can pull to the workshop and sort the marker boards out. It's an animal, isn't it? What a beast. Right, I've got this. It's got holes in it, but none of them match up with the holes on that plate, annoyingly. So I'll have to drill some new holes. We'll get that mounted on there. These are actually adjustable as well. They zoom in and out, so if you put wider tracks on, you can put them out wider. So I'll go and get something to unbolt it, screw them on. Probably would have been better with washers on to spread the load. That's why they've cracked up, perhaps. Get the ratchet gun, open my socket set, What's missing? The 10 mil, 13 mil, 14 mil, half inch or 7 16th. Why does no one put anything away? Right, I've got some new screws for the bottom. I did have some bolts, but I found these ones with, um, I think the stainless. So, yeah, stainless steel. And I'm gonna use them on the bottom and then the top two. One was missing and one. Can't get that bit off it that's stuck to it it so i'm gonna leave it i've got two new ones and some lock nuts on the top and then i've not got any spring ones for the bottom i've got spring washers on the bottom which should hold the nut on because i haven't got nylocks and m5 and they're m6 that looks well better compared to how they were Let's see how it's all cracked up oscar's taking over now Stop raining now, so I'm gonna do a little bit more spraying. I think. No, that, yeah, that's right now. So that the like the white and the red are flashing out to sort of like mark the outside. You can put it in like four different positions, but that's right. That one. I'll drill the holes now. It's good as new now, isn't it? Bit of mud on it there. Yeah, that's massive. That like bumper thing, isn't it? Be heavy that. It's a huge lump in it. Hold it just hold, hold it on again and we'll just say oh yeah it's well under three meters isn't it mm. so, yeah on the road it feels wide in the combine which is three and a half meters so easy to back machines up with it because you can just kind of shove it where it wants to go see you can't really because i'm doing that here and then that was that there but you can't can't really see it on the camera. It'd be better filming it from the outside. Randomly, Charlotte's mum and dad's car is only one digit different to the Discovery. It's quite handy when you're moving the trailers around. This is quickly today's birthday bumper. Tom Malson times two because he's on it twice. He's 57. Jacob Doogie, I think it's pronounced. Patrick Comerford is 13. Alistair Wade's 34. Leo Wilson is eight. And Amy G is 26. And we're now at £62,332. Happy birthday, everybody on there. I was looking at some stats before. So 10% of the people fast forward with the birthday bumper. So that's why I try and do it as quickly as possible. Because if it's not your birthday, you don't know anyone on there. It can be the boring bit of the video, especially if YouTube put adverts on as well. Um, you can subscribe so you don't see that. That's what I've done now. And it tells you every month how many hours you've watched with um, of YouTube, which then tells you what value for money you're getting from actually being a YouTube subscriber. I don't mean a subscriber to the channel, I mean a subscriber to YouTube, but like you would with Netflix. Anyway, that is all for today. I'm off out tonight. So um, I'm going to go and get a shower. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow.
I might be somewhere different as well tomorrow. Actually, I've just remembered, um, I went up to Charlotte Ashley's the other week and filmed something up there, and I also went to the Rickaby's open date, and I've never showed you both of them bits. So if we're gonna show you them on Sunday, which is tomorrow, isn't it, yeah? Let me know what you wanna see first. Rickaby's open day with all the machinery, or Charlotte Ashley building the robotic milking parlor. Let us know in the comments, and I'll sort it out for tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Oop, got the cups, and I'll see you all tomorrow.